gentrification is like a form of colonialism. During the financial collapse in 2008, African Americans lost 53% of their collective wealth. Banks manipulating them with these variable rate mortgages that started them off paying $500 a month. And then five years in, you get a balloon payment of $1,800 and then the house is taken back. In Buffalo, you go to the auction and you buy a block for a couple thousand dollars. You know, you could buy houses for $500 a piece. And then you have people who are selling them for three or $400,000. We have had over 2,000 construction projects in the past five years. Over $20 billion of real estate capital has been invested. In PUSH stands for People United for Sustainable Housing. So we offer affordable housing in the area, which is a huge thing. The most important thing is knocking on those doors to see who has those problems. That's how I got involved with PUSH. Our work is to get people to develop communities the way that they want them to develop, that both engages people and involves people, but also works to stop climate change and gentrification at the same time. Buffalo has gone through a very unjust transition, 70s, 80s, 90s, 300,000 jobs leaving. Within a decade, uh, we lost more than half of our population. White flight out of the cities, really causing a lot of challenges for people that could not leave, especially low-income people and people of color. Now we're seeing billions of dollars being invested back into the city to rebuild it. All of the white people who left Buffalo after the riots, now they all want to come back. An organization in Oakland called Movement Generation created a strategy framework for a just transition. So basically it's the extractive economy versus the regenerative economy. In the extractive economy, the worldview is basically to consume. The rules are totally counter to human nature, so it takes enforcement to keep the system working. With the regenerative system, the worldview is realizing that our resources are limited, using them most efficiently so that they'll last the longest, so that the largest amount of people will benefit from them. Our system of governance is deep democracy because we want everyone to have a say in how things work and how to plan it out. Our resources need to be regenerated so that we're not constantly paying someone else. Work wouldn't be through coercion and exploitation, but democratic cooperation, all towards a purpose that maintains this goal of social and ecological well-being and makes sure communities that have been left out of all the jobs that either come and have left cities around this country are at the front of getting those jobs, right? When our organization was founded, it soon developed into an organization that could buy land, take control of the land, build on that land. There's 108 properties that we currently own. The rents range between about 400 and 600 a month. Push Buffalo helps coordinate weatherization efforts that are funded by the state, um, but take a lot of kind of like hands-on approach to get the people in the door. Ten Winter was originally built as a demonstration project to be a net zero house. We had somewhere around 100 young men and women come through over the course of two years for training in construction, green construction in particular, and because it was such a uh, cutting-edge project, they learned some cutting-edge trades. We work with a group called the Center for Employment Opportunities that provides opportunities for people coming out of prison. This is School 77, which was a long-time school that served the west side of Buffalo. The school system had abandoned it, and we are transforming it into a mixed-use community asset with 30 affordable apartments on the top two floors, senior apartments, and community space. It was important for us to get a hold of this building before luxury developers did that wanted to make it $2,500 a month apartments. We're putting solar panels on the roof and we're going to create a community solar configuration where renters will be able to participate in having solar energy and credits on their bills. It will be the first low-income solar array in New York State. Our goal is to power the whole west side like this. And if we can create enough space in here to prove that it works, we can get to the table with the utility to say we want this much space, we want this much funding.